Welcome back, guys. So in this video, what we're going to do is uh, eventually we're going to kick off the batch transform job. But before we do that, we're going to have to populate our sample data bucket under the folder structure. So in the in this bucket, in the slash images slash year slash month slash day, we're going to have to input some images so that our batch transform job will have, you know, images to look at. Because right now, if I run this cell, it's going to air out because it's not going to find anything there. So we're going to use at first, whenever you test whether batch transform is working or not, you test with a few images. So you don't want to test with the hundreds of images. So you want to test with like four or five images to make sure it's working properly. So what we're going to do is go to either Pexels or Unsplash and both Pexels and Unsplash are websites are really amazing websites where you can use free stock photos. So type in plastic bag and then just download four or five images that you like. So you can click on the image and you can go to free download. You don't even have to sign in or register nothing. I have already downloaded uh, four images. So I'm not going to be doing that with you guys. So just pick any four images that you like or five. It doesn't matter. Download it. And once you have that, come back here to your studio notebook. Make sure you have the name of your bucket. So I'm going to copy the name of my bucket. And I'm going to go to S3 buckets and find buckets by name. And I'm going to paste it in. And that's this bucket. So I'm going to go inside the bucket and we're going to go to the images. But we can't just upload our images over here, right? Because we specified that it should be in the year, month and day. Now, when we test batch transformation right now, we're going to have to manually create these folders, the year, the month and the day. However, <clears throat> when we set up our web application, we're not going to have to uh, do this manually because through the web application, I'm going to show you guys how to dynamically create these folders. But for now, just I know it's tedious, but hang in with me. So just create the folder. Let's create one for 2023. Obviously, create it for the date that you're uh, the current day you're at right now. I'm in 2023, February 9. But this date should be, you know, whatever date uh, it's today for you. Go inside the year, create folder. Right now I'm in February, so I'm going to create two. That's the second month of the year. Create the folder. I'm going to go into the two. I'm going to create a new folder. And for me, it's February 9th right now when I'm recording this video. And I'm going to say create folder. And I'm going to go inside the nine. So make sure you have this structure, your bucket name, images, year, month and day. And you're inside the day. And now you can go ahead to upload, add files. As you can see, here are the four images that I have chosen. So I'm going to select all four and click on upload. Awesome. Now I'm going to press on the upload button. And as you can see, it has uploaded the uh, files. And now uh, make sure you know you run everything so you have the correct date. You have the transformer, you have the model. One thing that is very important is that the region that you're in. So as you can see right now, the region I'm in here, for example, where the training images, that's based on where my session is. So session Bodo underscore region name. So that's uh, EU, sorry, that's EU central one. So you have to make sure that your bucket was created in this same region. If your bucket is in a different region, then you're going to run into errors. Now, how do you check that? Go to the buckets. As you can see, this is my bucket. And the region is EU Frankfurt, EU, EU central one. Make sure that the region here corresponds to, for example, where your training image is, EU central one. If it doesn't, you're going to have issues. So if you accidentally created, you know, uh, a, a bucket in a different region, then you can just, you know, go ahead, delete that bucket and create a new bucket with the same name uh, in the region that it's supposed to be in. By the way, if you delete a bucket, and then you try to create that new bucket in a different region, you're going to have to wait like, I don't know, I think like maybe a few minutes or maybe even an hour because it's still deleting because uh, even though it's going to create it in a different region, S3 bucket names are globally unique. So you might want to, you know, 
uh, change it a little bit. So for example, if I created this in the wrong region, I would delete it and then I would rename it plastic detection without the dash over here. So it would be unique. You can create the same uh, S3 bucket if you've deleted the previous one, but you're gonna have to wait a little while. So now I'm probably gonna you know run into some stupid error, something that I didn't see, but let's try and run it. Actually, to my greatest surprise, I did not have a typo. That's awesome. As you can see, uh, it started over here because we see the dots going. And let's, I'm not sure uh, if it's gonna show up right now, but let's go over here to SageMaker and go to Inference and go to Batch Transform Jobs because it might be uh, you know, so new that it hasn't logged it yet yet. But as you can see, it's actually in progress. So we have set up a batch transform job. And, you know, this is going to take a little time, uh, probably five to 10 minutes. And I know we only doing batch transform for four uh, or five images, and that's not reflective. So even if, you know, we had 200 images, it would still probably take uh, that much uh, time. So because, you know, it has to start the batch transform job and everything right now, the the time that it's going to take you know those five to ten minutes that it's going to take it's not because the model is giving the inferences so slowly it's because it has to set up a job download the training image that it was used uh, over here to make predictions so the initial setup is what takes you know a few minutes and once we have the initial setup then the batch transform job is is super quick so I know it's going to sound, I mean, it's going to seem very slow for these four images, but I do want you guys to know that it's not slow because it takes a lot of time to process four images. It's going to be a few minutes to set up the batch transform job. So if it's set up and we would have, you know, a hundred images instead of four, it would still be blazing fast. So I will see you uh, once my batch transform job has finished.